Hi everyone. So there are seven factoring videos that I have created in the past, seven. It actually goes from one to seven. So this we could call eight. We'll see how it goes. Here's a problem, ninth power. Let's work it out together. So basically when we talk about factoring higher order polynomials, I have to move this closer so you can see it. First, I have to synthetic divide. Oh, this is broken. Sorry. Okay. First, we're going to synthetic divide. And the reason we're going to synthetic divide is because we get one of the solutions. So we know that two is one of our solutions. So let's use that first. So two goes in the balcony. And I'm going to use synthetic division. So just be careful because um, we're missing exponents here. So you have to be really careful on putting zeros there. So one, negative two. There's no seven or six. So seven is going to be a zero and six is going to be a zero. Uh, five is a negative five. Ten. There's no three or two. So three and two are both zero. And then there's a four and a negative eight. So when we have missing exponents, we have to put zeros. Now we're going to draw a line under the whole thing. And an arrow brings down the first term. Now we start the process of multiplication. Two times one is two. Zero. Zero, 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 zero. You're gonna get a lot of zeros. <clears throat> uh, negative five, negative 10. Zero, 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 zero. Four, eight, zero. And that last zero is gonna be our remainder of zero. Okay, now we get a lot of zeros here because we have to eventually use U substitution. So let's do that. Remember this is a ninth power, which means I'm gonna drop it down one to the eighth. So this is gonna be X to the eighth. No seventh, no sixth, no fifth, but a fourth is happening, which is what we want. Negative five X to the fourth. No third, no second, no first, constant value. This is perfect because this is set up really nicely for U substitution. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna let U equal X to the fourth in this particular problem. We're gonna let U equal whatever the middle exponent term is. So if it was a two, we would make it X squared, but it's obviously a four, so we're gonna make it X to the fourth. So now we're gonna take this and kind of re-envision it with u instead. So this is u squared minus five u plus four. Quadratic form, which is what we can simplify very easily. I wanna make sure you can still see this. So let's area model it. <clears throat> u squared, four. I'm looking for factors of four that I can add to negative five. So I'm gonna need a four and a one, but both negative. So negative four u, negative one u and then we'll take the greatest common factors out. So u, negative one, u, negative four. So here is where we are. I'm gonna put them over here. Oh gosh, real quick. Okay. So our factors, the two was one of them. So that means x minus two is a factor. Now it is, and I'm gonna erase this in a second. We're gonna have u minus one and u minus four. But remember, we have to substitute back. So we let u equal x to the fourth. So this is actually going to be x to the fourth minus one and x to the fourth minus four. Now, if you put this as your answer for right now, I'm okay with that, but this is not fully factored. We want one more step. And the reason for that is because both of these values or everything in here are perfect squares. The four is a perfect square, that four is a perfect square, that one's a perfect square, that four is a perfect square. So if we were to take the square root of both of those terms, the x minus 2 stays. Nothing can change there. This is going to turn out to be x squared minus 1 and x squared plus 1. This turns out to be x squared minus 2 and x squared plus 2. And the reason for that, again, is because everything here is a perfect square, so we have to have the breakdown. And yeah, this is a messy problem. So remember we had a ninth power, right? Ninth power which means I need nine factors and nine solutions. So let's count the X's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We know we're in the right spot. Both of these are fine. If you gave me this, that's fine. If you gave me this, this is fine as well. Eventually we're gonna have to solve these things, but for right now, I just want factors. Either one of these I will accept for right now, and we're gonna practice this for the next couple of days. So what do we do? A lot. Ugh. Okay, first step, synthetic division. Second step, U substitution. Third step, area model. Fourth step, resubstitute and factor if necessary. So again, we're gonna practice this for the next couple of days. See ya.